Oakland has good food. Oh my god. Who knew? No, for real though, who knew? Like, is y'all annoyed with this ring light in my eye? I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I'm blind. Like, <laughs> it looked snatched, honey. Snatched. <laughs> Cheers to 900. Thank you to everyone who is subscribed. Like, I remember when I only had four subscribers. Likes. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne Marie and we are back with another vlog, girl. Um, so, real quick, I actually just got done recording. Well, yeah. I just got re done recording not too long ago. I did a little cute try on haul. And now we are about to go to dinner, girl. We're about to go to, um, Moi. I think it's called Moi. It's either called Moi or... Yeah, I really don't know what's the other option, but it's it's spelled M-U-A. It's in Oakland. It's a cute little restaurant. I've been there once a couple years ago. I remember that it was really dark, and I think I enjoyed the food. So that's all I have to go at or um off of. But yeah, I just wanted to introduce this vlog. This is probably gonna be a cute little weekly vlog. Um, and yeah, y'all, let's go. Guys, that was actually good. Go figure. Go figure, guys. Oakland has good food. Oh my god. Who knew? No, for real though, who knew? I didn't. Our waiter was very weird though. He walked in, he literally gave us a weird ass look. And I was like, why he look at us like that? What the heck? Y'all okay? Hey y'all, so it is Monday. Happy Monday. I am drinking my uh, glutamine. Um, it really has no taste at all, so if you were thinking about getting some and you were worried about the taste, girl, it don't it don't have a taste, so don't fret. Um, I'm trying to drink it down quickly because I feel like once it settles, the powder goes back down. And you don't want that. I want the powder to be incorporated. I've only been doing the El Glutamine for like, I think this is my third day. 
and so I, I don't know if it's really made a difference i feel like it low-key has but i don't know i feel like i can't say that for three days so let's at least do it for two weeks and see what goes on but last night we went to moi girl and i've been to moi once literally probably like over three years ago so you know i didn't really know what to expect all i knew is that it was a dark restaurant um sorry if y'all can see my ring light i'm trying to give y'all the best light possible sun ain't really out today so you know we doing what we doing and also i'm washing so that's what y'all hear per usual um so anyways we went to moi and <laughs> It's a really cute restaurant and it actually have like a really big bar I feel like like I didn't expect them to have such a big bar so if you want to go by yourself and you don't want to have a table you can sit at the bar and order food and order drinks and um, have a cute little vibe or whatever but the actual restaurant is two stories it's upstairs and downstairs the first time I went there I was girl this thing loud as hell I hope y'all can hear me the first time I went there, it was, I sat upstairs and it was cute or whatever. They have a smaller bar upstairs, but this time we sat downstairs. I don't even think the upstairs was open, but it was just a weird vibe. Like the staff, it was ve weird. Like the staff all looked like hipsters. Like literally it looked like that was the uh, prerequisite to getting hired. You had to be a hipster. And they were not like the happy-go-lucky hipsters, at least not the two that I encountered. Um, or that like the one, the lady that sat us down, she was very weird. Like she came up to the front, she was like, I'll be with you, um, I'll be with you soon. And so I turned around like trying to get like some B-roll or whatever. And like literally she was like, okay, how can I help you? You literally just said I'll be with you soon. Like you just had something to do. Like, what? And then... Um, when we walked in, I saw this guy and I didn't even realize he worked there because he, the way he was dressed, baby, I would not have expected him to have worked there. He had on like this colorful old striped shirt. Um, and he like gave us a weird look, like look, he mugged us. And I was like, that's weird, but I'm not going to let it. They're testing a the fire alarm today. I don't know why, because we literally just had a test like a month ago. So, what's wrong with the fire system that y'all need to test it every goddamn month? So, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so he gave us a weird look when we walked in, but I was just like, you know what? I'm not about to pay attention to that because I'm having a good night, girl. I'm cute. I had, um, you know, did my makeup because I did a try on haul um, last night. We're gonna get back. We're gonna talk about that in a second. And um, I'm like, girl, you know what? Not here for that. So when we go sit down, he's he's our waiter. I'm like, uh oh, okay. And um, like once past that, like he was a little awkward or whatever, but like he was okay. Um, he he was checking on us like throughout to make sure everything was good, make sure we didn't need like anything or whatever. Um, but. <laughs> But um, it was funny because I ordered a drink and I like to order like off of their like curated cocktail list because I feel like that should be the best drinks y'all got because clearly y'all like y'all curated this right like y'all practice these drinks everybody should know how to make them it should be like good ingredients fresh ingredients all that all that so that's what I like to order off of but they didn't have any drinks on there with like tequila in them which is like usually my go to or like bourbon but i was already drinking tequila yesterday so i was like i don't really want to switch over so i ended up ordering a drink with vodka and i told him i'm like i don't really like vodka so like how is this drink and a real wet real waiter would have been like girl we have a full bar <laughs> you can order whatever drink you want like what do you want tequila you want a margarita like we can do you a strawberry margarita he didn't say that he was just like oh um it's a really good drink it's masked by like the strawberry um whatever which he was right. The drink was really good. It was actually a strawberry ginger lemonade. And baby, that strawberry, that ginger was popping. And I wish I actually would've just did it with tequila. Um, I feel like it would've been good. And I feel like he could've just been like, girl, we could switch the vodka out for tequila. But he just wasn't, he wasn't trying to be that helpful. Like he wasn't trying to like go above his job. Not even above his job. Because I feel like that's a part of being a waiter. But he just, I feel like the vibe was off. Because even the person I was with was like, 
you just told him you don't like vodka and he let you order a vodka drink. I was like, yeah, that's kind of weird, huh? Also, girl, you're a grown ass woman. You don't like vodka and you order a vodka drink. What's wrong with you? Um, I don't know. It was weird. But I, I want to go back because I'm actually mad I didn't get a margarita because based on that drink that I got, I know the margarita would be hidden because I'm sure they only use real lime. And if you get a strawberry margarita, it's real strawberry puree, like all that, all that. So I would definitely recommend if you're in Oakland um, or if you like come to Oakland or the Bay Area and you're looking for places to eat, MUA, M-U-A, <laughs> that's how it's spelled, is it's really good. Only thing is parking over there can be... A mess and I think Alomar is over there too which is black owned but I haven't ate there yet so I can't tell you nothing about that I don't know nothing about that <laughs> um anywho so I filmed last night well yeah last night I filmed a try on haul for skims girl that's gonna be coming out before this video so if you have not seen that girl go watch that right now yeah pause this go watch that and then you can come back and run it back um so you know i have never tried skims even though skims has been out for a couple years because you know i'm like i don't really want to support um the kardashian brand you know like i'm not really here for it i'm not just to be quite honest and i feel like if y'all know it with this ring light in my eye i'm so sorry <laughs> but i'm blind like is that better is that better no it's not it's not girl so um what i was saying oh yeah so it took me a minute to like actually try it and i'm like you know i should do this for the girls i gotta see if it is it actually quality is it actually good and then you know especially doing vlogs and stuff i realized that i don't really have any loungewear like any cute loungewear that I feel comfortable with people seeing me in because like right now I have on a big t-shirt and some basketball shorts like that's what I be around in the house in girl the, uh, the shirt can have a hole in it um it can have bleach stains I'm still going to wear it especially if it's one of my favorite shirts so I don't want y'all seeing me on the vlog like that and also I feel like sometimes when I'm not in a good mood like that kind of aids or ads and me being in a bad mood even more like girl you walking around the house looking like a hobo no shade to the hobos i don't even you know what how can you be in a good mood like girl get dressed or at least like look cute you know so like i really want to like start investing in like cute little loungewear like for around the house i even um got like some sleep shirts because that's what i like to wear to sleep i like to just wear like a, a big ass shirt like I need a uh, room and space. I don't want bottoms on unless it's boxers. Like no. So I got some sleep shirts. Um, because Victoria's Secret was having a little sale, girl, and I don't like their underwear. So I got me a sleep shirt and I think I got me a jacket. It's supposed to come today, so we'll we'll open it together. But um, I'm ranting and raving, girl. We're about to get off this real quick. But the point I was trying to get to is that I had I got the Skims long slip dress uh, as part of the haul, and I'm not gonna give you too much because you need to go watch the haul. You should already watch it by this point, baby. I see why the girls was going up. I see why the girls was going up. That dress, that dress <laughs> is not your average. Uh, maxi dress I have a maxi dress from Naked Wardrobe and if you're familiar with Naked Wardrobe it's I feel like it's a similar um, vibe to Skims like it's meant to like slim shape blah 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 and I feel like the price point is pretty similar so it's pretty similar in price point um, $80, $90 whatever girl when I tell you the Skims is whooping that Naked Wardrobe dress ass <laughs> baby I'm about to be wearing that dress all summer. Like, I already want it in another color. Like, it is gimme. When I tell you my waist look. <laughs> it looks snatched, honey. Snatched. And um, underneath, I wore uh, another. I was skims out. I was skim, girl. I was a skims bitch last night. I had on the skims dress. I had on the skims uh, smooth and shorts underneath, which made my waist look. <laughs> And I had on some skim underwear. Baby, the skim's panties. 
hate to say it. I hate to say it. Amazing. Amazing. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. I don't know what to feel. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> I was trying to stick to my morals. And <laughs> I finally said, F it. We gonna do it. And now I like it. I hate it. I gotta go. This is too much. I'm about to cry. My stomach hurt. Hey, y'all. It is Tuesday. I just came back from the gym. I just looked at the calendar, girl. I ain't been to the gym in literally over a month. Like... What's going on? And I, I see it. I see it. So, mm -mm. Got my core power. By Fair Life. Best protein shakes out there. I just did the, um. I'm still recovering. But all I did was a variation of the 15... What is it? 12, 3, 30 method. I can't quite do that. So I did 10 intensity, 2.2 incline. And I did it for 15 minutes since I haven't been back to the gym. And I feel like when I overwhelm myself, that makes me not want to go back. So I feel like I'm just, I just need to ease myself into it. Like anything is better than nothing than me just sitting on this couch. You know what I mean? Today is the first day that VIBs have access to the Sephora sale. Girl, Sephora really be segregating the girls because if you have rouge, which means you spend a thousand dollars at Sephora within a year um, time frame, you had access to the sale on the 14th. Um, so four days early, which I mean, I respect the girl. If you spend that coin, you should have access early and you get 20% off. So today was the first day of the sale. So I placed, um, one order that was ended up being breaking down into two separate orders because one order I'm actually going to go pick up is the bulk of the items I ordered. And then the rest of the items that weren't available, I'm just going to have them shipped or whatever. But I wanted to do items as soon as possible so I could film a video of what I got just in case y'all want to see and, you know, go get some items or whatever, girl. Let's open this package. Oh, this is a nice color. Girl, I told y'all I ordered some um, sleep shirts and this material is okay okay but it's really just like a racer back dress for real oh yeah this look good mm -hmm. what size i got medium large this was regularly 42 dollars wait is that ca oh girl is that ca for canada or california i think that's for canada so the u.s is the bottom price uh so 34 dollars. i think i got these for 12 dollars so a little less than half off um it's cute it got the little victoria's secret emblem in the back and then oh i'm gonna take my other one girl it was winning in with the package i hope the lighting is all right y'all oh yeah see i love this color gray i really don't know why this one looks bigger than another one maybe because of color but um and then i got it in gray i would have got it in, in every color but this is the only color they had so um yeah i'm excited to wear these trying to be on my grown woman you know this looks like a damn pillow good job i'm tired i'm not tired but i definitely feel like i work out you know you know, oh, child, what the hell? You know, do it just need to be roughed up a little bit? This is a, it's a shaggy. Don't tell me I've been duped. It's very soft. 
It's hella soft. Girl, let me try this joint on. Why? Oh no, this is cute. Wait. <laughs> this kind of cute, y'all. I don't know y'all, but yeah, this is the the jacket. I think it's cute, like the way it hits. It's oversized. It don't have no pockets. I know you lie. I would have pissed. I bought this jacket for ninety dollars and it didn't have no pockets. I hate jackets that don't know have no pockets. They got these up here, but. What am I? Do? What am I gonna do with that? I guess I could put a phone right there. But that's kind of cute. I, I'm still looking for a pocket. Um, yeah, it's actually like um, warm. I feel like, girl, I didn't pick this whole camera up off this day. <laughs> I'm holding this whole tripod, y'all. But it's a nice day outside. I'm happy with myself that I went to the gym. I don't want to leave my house to the Sephora order is ready because I'm kind of trying to like base my whole day around that for real. We ain't doing much today. Oh yeah, I need to go to Trader Joe's. I do need to go to Trader Joe's, y'all. But other than that, no major. Hope y'all having a great week for real. Hope y'all are starting, restarting things that make you happy, that make you feel good and all that. Yo, I got on this uh, Victoria's Secret thing I showed y'all earlier. I don't know if I like it. It it looked like a muumuu. Like, it, that's what it's giving. I didn't think it was going to be like that. I thought it was going to be shorter, a little bit tighter. But it ain't. It's comfortable, but that's about it. But anyways, y'all, I didn't think I was going to come back on the camera today. But I wanted to show y'all what I'm about to put together. Because I think it's a move. I think I saw, this is inspired by a TikTok I saw months ago literally months ago but i got this um limoncello from um trader joe's first of all look at the bottle i'm the type of person if something is cute i want it i literally don't care what it is i want it this is adorable this is adorable this was only ten dollars okay so I did get a bottle of Prosecco, but I'm saving the Prosecco for when I hit 900 subscribers, which will be sometime this week because I'm at 898 right now. But I also did get something else. So I like picking these up when I go to Trader Joe's. These are only $5 and you get four in a pack. And it's a cute little sparkling wine, which is what I prefer. And it's 10%. So it's not too bad, you know? So what we're about to do is we're about to make a little sparkling situation. So I just put a little bit of ice in here. I'm probably going to move y'all so y'all can see what's going on. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to put the sparkling wine on the bottom. Here we go here. Okay. Not too much. So this, this really ain't nothing to play with because look at this. Can y'all see that? Yeah, thank you for working. 26%, okay, look, she said don't do too much. It's 26% alcohol, 52 proof. That's insane. So we're not gonna put too much. Oh, if we could get the bottle open. Oh my God, all right. And then we're just gonna a little topper. I don't know. That was just a splash through. Mmm. Okay. That's good. I like that. Mmm. -hmm. You could tell she's a little bit strong, but that limoncello, it really tastes like lemons. I guess limoncello is literally made out of lemon, but that's good. I feel like I do have um, some Meyer lemons. I think I'm going to actually um, squeeze a little bit in there, but that's good. 
Um, I don't know. I feel like he might have added, the TikTok I saw might have had one more ingredient. I just don't know what that ingredient was because literally that was months ago. But girl, you want a quick little um, put together. I feel like that's a real cute brunch drink. I think that's what he was saying. You ever host a brunch at your um, house or like a baby shower girl or whatever type of get together like that, make that. I had to come back and tell y'all I added a little uh, squeeze of lemon, Myers lemon to be exact, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Now this is a sipper. Like I told y'all, that that wine is 10%, and I feel like usually sparkling wine is about 10% or more, and then that limoncello, baby, only a little splash, okay? Because if not, you gonna have everybody drunk. Which I mean, if that's what you're trying to do. Cause you got that deep for me. Free love is deep for me. I'm gonna make you go weak for me. Make you wait a whole week. Hi, y'all. <laughs> oh, here go my lens cap. Happy Wednesday. I just came from um, Ulta. Girl, this might be my new Ulta, even though it was further than I expected, but they were so nice in here, and it was so organized, and people was just coming up to me like, you need help? You want me to show you something? Like, you wanna smell that? I'm like, girl, girl, the girl put me on to something. I did not go in here for this. She said she had just bought um, the Alien Goddess New Glare, and they had a cute little set. Girl didn't fell out, but that's cute. Come with a little cord. But they had this cute little set for $32. And it comes with the alien goddess and then the alien. They actually smelled really good. Um, I didn't put it on, but I smelled it on the thing. And this is like, you know, a cute little tester. So if I really like it, I can go back and get um the bigger size but i've like smelled you there in um person before and i didn't like it but i mean obviously all of them are different but i wanted to smell the paco rabanne fame but they didn't have the tester so i couldn't smell that but that's fine because i have another fragrance on its way that i'm very excited about that i've literally wanted for years so i just got the tracking for it today girl but anyways what i went there for is some nails i'm gonna put these ones on today these small little french tips and then i saw these girl these are so cute these is more for the weekend um i'm getting tired of pulling nails off of my nails press on nails off of my nails so i think i'm gonna actually just go and get my nails done soon even though i don't want to or i need to really do it myself i need to make that decision am i gonna start doing my nails myself or find a good nail place and then lastly i got some uh hydro grip primer that's it girl how much I spend $57 not bad but I had like $250 worth of points no 250 points that equal $8 off come on Sephora you gotta have 500 points for $10 off so that was really nice um, I'm about to go back home and get ready to film hey y'all it is Thursday I swear this week has gone by so quick probably because I've been doing it a lot but we hit 900 subscribers and I was gonna hold off on um, doing this but I'm like girl last time I held off I didn't get to celebrate because I was already on to next and this is our last like I don't even know how to say it but this is the last time we'll be in the hundreds like it's up to bigger and better things babes so you know I got me some Prosecco <laughs> per usual I feel like when I hit 1k girl I gotta actually give me some champagne I actually gotta do the real deal. But, um, girl, we about to be even more ghetto because I got a red cup. I am washing, and I don't have many um, wine glasses, I only have two. And then the other glass, I do have like a clean glass, but girl, I'm like, why not just use a red cup? It's really not that deep. If there was someone like, if I had like company over, maybe I would like, not maybe, I would use like, um, a glass or whatever but oh yeah girl I was having a difficult time opening this up pop this boy open
<laughs> Cheers to 900. Thank you to everyone who is subscribed. Like, I remember when I only had four subscribers, like seriously. And to now be at 900 is crazy. Um, this is the most amount of subscribers I've ever had on any platform, including like Instagram, MySpace, girl. <laughs> yeah i'm taking it back um so it's kind of weird because i'm really like not a social person for real like i'm like really like, awkward and like shy so like it's really funny but thank you to everyone and i can't wait to see where we are a year from now because it's like i've kind of been doing this consecutively for or consistently off and on for a year now so to many more babes mm. that's good I gotta remember these wines I be getting from um, Trader Joe's because they do not all taste the same Hey y'all, Saturday. It is a beautiful day. I just came from outside and I went outside before I had my coffee, girl. And I was very, I wasn't upset, but it's like I just kept thinking about my coffee. I'm like, I need my coffee. But um, I'm gonna get out before it was like too many people outside for real. Oh y'all, okay, if y'all have an espresso machine and you was thinking about getting them whiskey pods, let me show you. The, the whiskey essence flavored uh, virtual pods. Now, I'm a whiskey girl. I love bourbon. That's like my drink of choice. Like, if anybody asks me my drink of choice, I'm be like, girl, give me a bottle of bourbon. I know, I know. But these, the pod is adorable. It's adorable, but these are disgusting. <laughs> these are disgusting. And I found this uh, YouTuber, I think her name is Maison Molly, Maison, Maison Molly, something like that. And she like dedicate, like she does mostly like, um, like Nespresso content and like um, designer content or whatever. So I'm looking at her and she uh, had tried them like maybe a week or so ago and she was like, oh, it's not too bad. She said she would not buy it again, but she said it's not too bad. That shit is bad. I'm so sorry. That is disgusting. She said that she could see you making an espresso martini with it. Espresso, I hate when I say espresso. Espresso martini, martini with it, but I've never made it at home um, espresso martini, even though I've had my uh, Nespresso machine for like two years now. Um, and I love a, a espresso martini. I just never like took the time to go get the ingredients and all that. But maybe since I have that pod, I do need to see if it will be good with that. Because if not, I'm throwing it away. And I have never thrown away a sleeve of pods before. Like I just eat them, like eat them. <laughs> I just eat it girl and I use them and um you know I just try to add syrups or whatever to make it better girl that would know she said that she could see brown sugar like um syrup or like stuff working but good with that that's what I used I used the brown sugar oat milk from uh Trader Joe's and I think I even added some brown sugar in it nasty nasty but that's not what I came on here for, girl. We're about to end this vlog, but I have a, um, excuse me, y'all know I live in a suburban hood. I know, I live in the city. That's what it is, I live in the city. So it's, it's loud. So anyways, we have a package from Amazon and it's nothing special. I really just wanted to show y'all how crazy I am because look at this shit. <laughs> look at this. Uh, why are they so small, y'all? Uh, I didn't buy some mayonnaise off Amazon. I don't even like mayonnaise, but 
Look at this baby ass man ass. I'm pissed. At least I got two of them. But, okay, if you know, if you're from California, you know that we don't have Duke's mayonnaise. We have, um, what is it? I got it in my fridge, girl. We have, oh, I guess it's the same side because I don't like mayonnaise, so I do be buying a small one. But we have Best Foods, which is disgusting, and it is probably part of the reason why I say I don't like mayonnaise because it, it just don't taste right. Like I had a um a bigger bottle of this, like a squeezable bottle that I have bought from Amazon uh groceries, whatever the fuck's called. And girl, it tastes so good. Like it tastes different. Like I don't even know how to explain it. It's just better because I ran out of this, so I had to use this when I made me a sandwich the other day, and I could taste it. Like it just has a distinctive taste that don't, it don't taste good. I don't even know how to explain it. It just does not taste good. And if you look, they are two completely different colors. Why? They're both mayonnaise. Like, did y'all know y'all did mayonnaise content today? <laughs> Woo! Girl, why are they two different colors? They both mayonnaise. Like, I don't know. I don't know what Dukes is doing, but Dukes is the one. Like, Dukes is the one. I'm sorry. Like, if you don't like mayonnaise, maybe you're just eating a bad quality mayonnaise. Because Dukes, they did it on them. They did it on them. Let me see these ingredients. Oh, you know what? Dukes uses egg yolks. Best food use whole eggs. I don't know. I don't know if that's something. I don't know. I really don't know. But Dukes is better. I'm sorry. So if you live in California or in a state that don't have Dukes baby, get get on Amazon. <laughs> get on Amazon. And it's a little pricey because this is eight fluid ounces. So I got two. So I got 16 fluid ounces. I paid $13 uh, for mayonnaise. I did. Because I've been making um them uh, grinder sandwich sandwiches that the TikTok girls, that's what TikTok girls call them, girl. Uh, it's basically you make a little dressing for your sandwich, which really is the best way to make a sandwich. Like, I've been having some of the best homemade sandwiches in my life. But anyways, that's why I bought this because I'm like, girl, I need, I need this. Like, I'm so sorry. And I got this in the fridge. I didn't even know. I had to go looking for um, some mayonnaise and mm -mm, ain't gonna do it. So yeah, I would highly recommend you to get on Amazon, get you some Dukes if you've never tried it because I wanna know if I'm tripping or not. Because I swear this is better. And look, it's a real mayonnaise. Do this say real mayonnaise? Oh, it do, it do. But it's real nasty. Okay, this one is real, real good. So anyways. <laughs> I just had to show y'all what the hell I didn't buy because I swear I be having packages come every week and it's honestly, I'm all in y'all face. It's honestly, it's a mess. It's embarrassing, but girl. Anywho, I'm about to uh, get ready to edit this vlog once I finish my coffee and this vlog will be going up tomorrow. Thank you guys so much. Um, Y'all have really been like watching my sephora haul video and i really appreciate it i really like that video like i even watched it back myself like girl <laughs> you're a mess and why did you buy all that but thank you guys so much um if y'all went to the sephora haul yet let me know the sephora haul if y'all went to the sephora sale have you bought anything yet let me know what you got down below girl because i'm about to uh, make me another order um, but anyways, it's, ooh, it's about to be one o'clock. I need to get to be, I need to get to editing. Yeah, this is the end of this vlog. Thank you so much for rocking with me if you got it this far. And, um, please like, comment, and subscribe if you are not already, babes. Come be a part of the family for real. We are on the road to 1K. And I want to do a giveaway. Um, I'm going to think about it, but I'm going to do a giveaway. So, 